What is up everyone, it is me Sivo. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to um, do slash commands on your Discord bot using discord.py. Um, we are using the 2.0 version, so it is um, a bit different. But yeah, so basically to make this, we're going to be using tree and we're also going to be making a class. So yeah, I'll just tell you how to do that. So let's um, get started, shall we? First, we're going to make a class, uh, but before you do that, import this from discord import app underscore commands. Now we're gonna make a class so class we're gonna just call it a bot and then um we're gonna do discord dot client i think it's just client i don't know if there's a no there's no bot so discord dot client and then we're gonna do a def underscore in it you should know what we're doing if you've done um uh, oop uh and then we're just going to um put in a super so super and then brackets and then we're gonna put dot and then we're going to get uh, in it. And then once we do this, we're going to get the intents of the Discord. Uh, so basically, intents equals Discord dot intents. And then we're just going to get, you can even get dot all or dot default. So we'll just do dot default just for now. And then um, we'll just do a self dots. I can never say this word. So I'm just going to type it out. <laughs> and then you're going to just put that as false. And then we're just going to do an async on ready. So you can also basically you just use it as your normal on ready. So async def on underscore ready. And we're just going to put self inside here. And then we're just going to write a wait. Not ever what that was. I'm going to write, um, why have I got that import with? I'm going to write a wait uh, tree. So we're going to be using the tree. And we're going to do dot sync uh by the way we need to set a value for this for a variable but we'll do that afterwards so let's do this for now tree scd and then we're going to um wait no scd and then brackets and then we're going to get our guild so do guild uh not that one guild equals discord and then we're going to get the object so discord dot object and then once we have got the object make sure it's the capital o we're also going to get the ID of our guild. So what happens basically when you do slash commands, it's going to take about an hour for them to load in servers, but we're going to have it load instantly into our server. So we can test out and not wait like an hour for it to load. So all you have to do is copy your server ID. So how you do this, you just go into your server, uh, click, make sure you're in developer mode, and then you're going to right click on your server and you're just going to click copy ID and just paste that in there. That's literally all you need to do. So now if we just uh, paste this in here, it should like, well, should just say ID equals uh, your ID. And then we're going to do self dot, um, we're going to use the science, I can't say that. And then we're going to equal this to true. And then we're just going to print, uh, we're just going to say your bot is, bot is online. And now we're going to set up some uh, values for, all right, so we need to get this and we need to get this. So how we do this is, we're just going to say bot equals the class a bot. And then um, we're just going to then get uh, the tree. So how you do this, you go tree equals app underscore commands, which we imported. And then you're going to do command tree as we're going to get the command tree. And then um, we're just going to do bot. And by the way, this is the only hard part of slash commands. Once you've got all this down, yeah, doing slash commands is so easy. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the same commands that I did during my commands video. So, yeah. So, um, anyways, if we uh, do at tree dot command, and then we just do, we've got to put in a name first. So the name we're going to do is a, um, we're going to do a ping first. And then once we have done a ping, we're going to do a description. And basically, this just pings the user. And then we're going to get our guild. Um, so basically, it's what this is. But we don't actually need to do this as it's, we've already got it. So we can just forget about the guild. But if you, I'm just going to show you if you want to put the guild in here instead. So basically just copy this. And then um, put this inside here. Uh, did I, I got an extra bracket. There we go. I just do that if you just want it. A certain command in a certain thingy area. So now we're going to do async def. And we're going to do self. Not self. Uh, yeah, self. And then... Um, we're just going to do interaction, interaction, and then we'll do comma, and then we'll do discord. I, I removed the bracket from there for some reason. It was not meant to do that. And then you're going to do discord dot 
uh, we're gonna get dot interaction interaction and then we're also yeah that's it for that and then we're going to do a wait interaction dot response dot send message and then we're just going to do f string i i always do f string but you don't have to obviously because we're not using it but we're just going to do pong now i'm going to tell you how to add a question so you have to put something else so like the eight ball thing and yeah um so how we do this we're just copy and paste this real quick we we'll just paste it in here. We'll get the responses from our able. So here are my responses. We're going to change the name. So we're going to change this to able. And we're going to just say gives you a answer. And then we can just where say self interactions. We're just going to add another one. And we're going to call this one question. And we're going to give it a string value. And then once we have done that, we're going to just um put in in here basically uh um question but we're going to make it look a little bit nicer so we're going to just surround it in these so question and then we can just do that and then we can put in the question here so question and then we do a new line and then do the asterisk again uh is that enough asterisk here yeah. and then we do answer and then we'll just put in the put in the answer so the response is so we go random dot choice and then we put in responses and that's all you have to do for the slash commands now if we run our bot hopefully it should work what was wrong thing must be all other cases okay so what you can't have any capitals in the names so yeah all right so now if we run this bot uh and we go over to our discord tree okay so i use <laughs> I used uh, the prick, I got confused, so it's just that, it's just sync like that. And then um, now if we play it, uh, I'll probably leave that annotation up anyway. So if we play it now, we won't get any errors. And if we go to our Discord server, and it's going to say bot is online. And now if you just do slash, and you go to your name here, we've got 8 ball, and we've got ping. So if we just do the ping real quick, it's going to say pong. And uh, if we did 8 ball, we can't do anything to be a set of question. we'll just say am I cool. And then it's going to send saying, am I cool without a doubt? So that is how you do slash commands. It is pretty simple. Um, by the way, if you do want to edit a message, I think all you have to do is just do edit just like that. And then you've got, you, if it doesn't work, if you do that, do um, first do this, do content equals and then whatever. So yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If there's anything you need to know, just leave it down in the description, uh, comments, and I may get back. If not, then I just, I'm retarded.